six and seven, finishing up there by the power of Grey Skull and Ed, Ed and Eddie. They are still a ways out at the moment, but let's not count them out just yet. Anything can happen. As we see our MHC Masters on their cardio section. And MHC with a uh, athlete done and dusted already on that, that assault row. Eh? He'll just casually wait. I would think that uh, the assault runner would probably be the hardest of the three cardio machines. Those white boxes there just to stop the glare on those screens so it's easier for athletes and judges to see them just to make sure that those athletes have uh, reached their target of 40 calories. MHC, done and dusted there. They're going to be moving on. Lane one, lane two, and lane three. That is Ice Ice Baby, Pro Form Grinders, two and a half men. Those are your top three at the moment. And it looks like lane two, pro form grinders have uh, snuck into the lead. Yeah, they're moving on to those cleaner jerks on the worm. Remember that worm is 80 kgs. They have to show control on the other shoulder before dropping. And there you have it. And once again, same thing. Clean and jerk over the head onto the shoulder, show control and drop it. They cannot just drop it from their heads. They have to show that control on the other side. Once again, great scenery here at Monte Cassino. The atmosphere has been unbelievable. If you haven't been to a battle before, make sure you come through tomorrow. Get yourself a spectator ticket and come watch the live action here tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have all the females. They'll start tonight and then tomorrow we'll have the exact same process where they will complete uh, the other two workouts and then the final. Exciting day out for the family here at the battle. You see the clock there in the background as they hit that six minute mark, 14 minutes remaining. By the power of Grayskull and Ed, Ed and Eddie. And then just out of shot there, we have Warriors for Jesus as well. Lane number four, the Fantastic Three. Early on in uh, the foundational uh, heat, we saw lane number four get themselves onto the podium. That was the CrossFit Bullies. Here we see MHC. Two and a half men in lane three. I think this is uh, Warriors for Jesus in lane five. Sorry, that was lane six by the power of Grayskull. Here's 
man. Uh, all pacing themselves very nicely. Still plenty of time in this workout to get all the work done. see who's going to come off and still out there you see on the left of your screen we have lane one and lane two starting to get a little separation on lane number three and there you have uh, lane number one and lane number two They, still, they got called back. They need to do another rep. And uh, because of that, they are falling behind. Opening up the door here to get a little bit more of a lead there for pro form grinders. And it's all about hanging on right now. It's just keep grinding it out rep for rep. You don't want to slow down too much. As uh, now you're starting to come to the back end of this workout. You're jumping into uh, the hated three rounds. They will have three rounds of 10, uh, 15 dumbbell snatches and then six pullovers. And those three rounds catch up with you very, very quickly and also very disorienting as well when you do those pullovers. MHC with the lane at number four, the Fantastic Three. They are currently now battling it out for that third place position. MHC still hanging on to it, two and a half men. And here we see those pullovers. Lockout at the top, lockout at the bottom. You cannot uh, keep your elbows bent at the, in that bottom position. He's got to lock those elbows at the bottom, otherwise he will get no rep. Little change over there. Now, in those three rounds, if uh, I was coaching one of these teams, I would just tell them that uh, each person must just hit their six uh, pullovers rather than trying to interchange because that changeover, that transfer, running to the holding station and bringing the other uh, person out of the holding station to get back to that bar is going to cost you some time. So just each athlete, have a turn on the bar, get your six reps out the way, and then move back into those dumbbell snatches as quick as you can. Remember, those snatches are sinking. Both heads have to touch at the bottom at the same time. And this is where you can create that separation if you work well as a team. Those no reps are going to cost you. So even though it's a no rep, it's an extra rep that you've done that you didn't have to do, and that's going to cost you time. You're looking at about one to two seconds per uh, no rep that you get with those dumbbell snatches, and that is costly in a workout like this see those athletes with those pullovers a couple of athletes really struggling with that lockout at the bottom which is causing them uh, to not get that moment momentum to get your legs over the bar Some great shots here. You can see some great technique. Locks out and uh, done and dusted there. Lane number two looking really strong at the moment. That's pro form grinders. And then lane number one, Ice Ice Baby. They're still in the mix there, hunting for that number one spot. It looks like we might have a little showdown of thrusters here. As we wind down to the back end of this workout, those thrusters at 30 kgs so very very manageable but the volume 50 reps to be done and then of course that changeover that transfer having to run all the way back to the holding area and then getting your athlete back to those thrusters i would kind of break it up 25 25 so you'd have one athlete waiting in the holding area 
hit your 25 and then the athlete who is really suffering get him to change out you want to try minimize that that transfer time of the holding pen yeah we see lane seven as well as lane six power by the power of grayskull and ed ed and eddie and look at this neck and neck at the moment the tempo and the momentum all in lane number two at the moment as you see that they are cycling a little bit faster with those burpees over the line and they go straight into their 20 air squats synced at the bottom synced at the top They are done. They finished their 20 before lane one. So that's a 20 rep lead that they have at the moment. Nope. Looks like even more. Call it 22 rep lead over lane number one at the moment. So pro formers with a 22 rep lead over Ice Ice Baby in lane number one. Lane number one on your screens at the moment. Will 22 reps be enough to hang on to that lead? You would think with a 30 kg axle bar, it is very, very doable. As you see, they're moving on to the second section. They change out. And remember, at the end of this, only one athlete, it's the athlete that's facing his back towards us, has to cross the line, and that will stop time. You do not have to have the team, uh, the, the teammate that's all the way back in the holding area to sprint to the finish. You can just walk his way back. Time would have been stopped. That was lane five, Warriors for Jesus on your screen. As we look at our leaders at the moment. Comfortable, comfortable lead at the moment. If I was in lane one, I'd be looking to... Uh, push the envelope here, go into a very, very dark space to try and catch them because that changeover is going to cost them a lot of time. And there you go. They're changing over. Look at that man. He's like stumbling. Should be trying to get there as quick as he can. And look at that. That was five reps that they gave up on that transover, uh, changeover. Just shows you how long that changeover is. Five reps is quite a lot to be giving up on a changeover. Let's have a look here. One rep, two reps. So only two reps on that one because uh, lane one are putting the bar down there. So not too costly. Four, five, six reps they gave up there in lane one again on that changeover those changeovers costing them big time here and i don't think they're going to be catching the team in lane number two that is pro form grinders and they are in that final section now and look at this pro form grinders Looking to run away with the gold medal here at the battle 2023. And just like that, unofficially your champions here at battle 2023. Pro form grinders in lane number two. It looks like lane number two is the lane to be in. I think all three of the heats so far, the winners have come out of lane number two. And yes, uh, I think I am correct on that. Yeah, celebrate. You deserve it. With uh, 2 minutes 20 seconds left on the clock, still plenty of athletes out there. We're waiting for second and third at the moment. Who's going to take that silver and that bronze? In second, we have Ice Ice Baby. And then in third, we have two and a half men. 
Lane number one, yeah, they're looking to get that silver medal. They're going to have to hang on for dear life here. The sink is at the top. See all these athletes uh, getting cheered on by their support teams, the spectators. If you haven't been to a battle, you've never experienced the atmosphere, I urge you to buy some tickets for tomorrow. Come join us here at Monte Casino for the battle 2023. And there you have it, lane number one, uh, walking away with second spot. Just pure carnage over the line there. And third spot. Wide, wide open at the moment. And it looks like lane number five, Warriors for Jesus. Looking for that third place. Thirty seconds remaining. And yes, Warriors for Jesus, they walk away with that bronze medal. They quietly went about their business and snuck into third place with some serious hard work. And well done to these men rolling around here. Warriors for Jesus, lane number five, getting that bronze medal. And great stuff by these men. And that is a wrap here for the Masters Division. Don't go anywhere. Next up, we have that open division. And uh, we can't wait for that one. The creme de la creme of the CrossFit competition here at Battle 2023. Powered by Puma. Hit that bell notification and we'll let you know exactly when we upload the next video.